What's up, y'all? You're watching Union Minded. I'm your host, Eric. And today I want to tell you about my experience going and performing my civic duty and voting in the primary. Because you have to actually take part in the process to get yourself one of these. They don't just hand these out to whoever for whatever. You got to earn this joke. But at any rate, so Virginia last year opened up 10 new polling places um, because there was a shift in the ideology of the state in a sense and processes were put in place to make voting more accessible instead of restrictive because that's what democracy demands is that vote is, voting is accessible. But that's besides the point. So anyway, I forgot that I had a new polling place. So I went to my old polling place. And I greeted everybody, had a good old time uh, joking around with them. And then they tell me I'm at the wrong spot. So I go to the correct voting place and um, park the truck, start walking towards the uh, door. And there's always folks outside. And so somebody approached, well, they were at the table that I was walking by. And they asked um, if I was going to probably say, yeah, I'm voting in the Democratic primary. So the second dude, the second person was a younger person. I think they were running for treasury or something like that. And uh, on the Republican ticket. And he's a young guy and he comes, he goes, oh, never mind if you're voting in a Democratic primary. And you couldn't vote for me anyway. And I was like, oh, why is that? And he was like, because I'm, I'm running in the Republican race. And since you're voting in the Democratic primary, you can't vote. Uh, for me anyway, you know, you got to choose. It's either Republican or Democrat. And he said it in a way that it was kind of smug. It was like, it was like a, a condescending, like you have to choose if you're going to be a Republican or a Democrat. And I looked at him and I was like straight face as hell. I said, it's sad that that's really no choice at all. I wish I had a choice better than that because that's really no choice at all. And I said, have a good, have a good day, good luck in your primary. And I walked away. And I went inside and I voted and did my thing. I came outside and I left and I got to thinking about it. Only the Sith deals in absolutes. And the way he said it, you have to choose. You can't, you have to choose. You can't, you can't have conservative things about you and and progressive things about your makeup you have to choose a side and it was like man only the sith deals in absolutes like that so in this metaphor the gop would be the uh empire and i've always been a bit of a rebel so how can i ever be a part of the empire it just doesn't work for me it's kind of why i'm not a centrist democrat because they're kind of just another wing of the empire. So how can I be a part of the imperial empire? I can't. I can't. It's just not in me. I'm a, I'm a union person. Union minded. I'm all about the people. So I can't. It's no choice at all. And it was funny because as I'm leaving, I told the, uh, the person that was working for the Democratic side and the uh, young man for the Republican Treasury position as well, I said, you know, if only we had ranked choice voting, then at least we kind of have a choice, you know, you could rank your, your picks, one, two, and three, and four, and that way, you know, you get a representative government. But until we do, got to play in the game that is already in front of us and try to make moves. And here's the thing that most people don't understand is that the primary is where you have your opportunity to do that. Because when it gets to the general, in general, it's going to be as close to the middle as, 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 as possible. You don't get a lot of variations. Um, and so your primary is, is your, your place to move the Overton window. So today was primary day in Virginia. And uh, I'm happy to say that I participated. I hope that you did too. Um, that's what I got for you. That was my day voting today. Anyway, you guys have a good one. I hope your day ended well i hope everybody got home safely from work it's about 7 45 in the evening and um yeah y'all remember the fight is not left and right it's up and down it's gonna take solidarity to win always each one teach one get out there and reach one 
And when you have a choice, <laughs> lead with love and understanding. Peace.